What is up guys? Welcome back to the Motorhead YouTube channel. On today's video, we're finally back to work on Yuri's truck. We have been waiting for parts, and now we're getting to the point where we're ready to work on it. So Yuri's gonna go ahead and run us through what we're going to start on. First of all, we're gonna put these batteries back on, see if it'll even start. And then we'll move V-Tune's car, pull it up onto the lift. Uh, Vlad's gonna start cleaning on the frame in the back, and me and Mark are gonna go ahead and start tearing the cab off. Oh, Here we go. Moment it's of truth. A moment of truth. Sir. Moment of truth. A moment of truth, sir. I'm anxious. I forgot the keys at home. Seriously? Yeah. With a screwdriver. Nah, no, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't even, he wasn't even scared. Already got the motor in there. I think weighs a ton. Brakes on. Yeah. They don't have any brakes. Oh, this tire. Is oh man. All right, let's try to push it. That's plenty. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to start stripping off this cab because we wanna bulletproof this truck. And to do that, easiest way to do, well, easiest way to bulletproof it would be to remove the cab. Also, we wanna clean up the frame real nice and get it all painted. And one more thing, that's a mouthful, but we wanna repaint this whole truck. So we wanna paint all the bottoms, the interiors of it, you know, the door jams and all that. So we can actually paint the bottom of the cab too. If we look at this frame right here, it's pretty nasty. This frame actually had a big work bed on it uh, with a big crane on it. That's why there's so much grease. So Vlad's actually gonna go ahead and clean up all this grease and all this caked up dirt and mud off the back so we can get the paint down on the frame. And me and Mark are gonna go ahead and rip the cab off of it and see what's going on under there. So let's get started. So Yuri's cleaning out the truck right now, getting all the garbage out of it. And then we'll go ahead and start taking these seats out. What do you think? What's after the seats? Uh, we're going to take out the seats and take out this carpet. And the reason why I want to do that is obviously because we want to repaint everything anyways and pressure wash it. But the bolts for the cab come down from the top. So to get to them, we need to remove this. This I guess I can't really call it a carpet, but vinyl cover, okay. floor cover. And Yuri, Yuri knows how to remove a cab because... He did have one blow up on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Hey, but that that's just experience, boss. Yep. Then one day, she went to Atlanta and never returned. <laughs> she returned. She just didn't come back the same. <laughs> she, ne she was never the same after that. Literally. You, don't, that, even, hey, you don't even know how much truth there is to that. All right, we're ready. Looks like you, you got it, though. All right, we're going to actually probably install this seat in the McLaren in the next V-Tune video. Oh, yeah, dude. I think, I think you'll fit in there perfectly. Beaton's gonna make some sick little mounts and stuff. Safety hazard, we don't need it. Wow. Yeah, see, look right there. That's that's the cab bolt right there. Pretty sure, yep. Where? Right here. Oh, yeah. Little silver bolt. For sure. Okay, so it's probably gonna be a 19 it's or it's a. Oh, 
All right, so we got our two bolts off on this side. Now we're going ahead and get these off right here. It's interesting because look, both the bolts on this side require a, what is this, a 24. Those side, 21s. I do not know why. And they look different too. Hey, I'm willing to bet this thing was worked on before. Yeah, but I don't know. They look original. Like everything looks like it was original. That's crazy. I could be wrong. Was your truck like that? Oh, I don't remember, man. It's been, it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years since I pulled the cab off. All right, so that's everything as far as bolts go in the cab. So now we're going to go take the two bolts loose that are holding the core support down to the frame. And then we'll start unplugging everything so we can raise the cab up. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop the bumper because we do wanna make a custom bumper for it and it's gonna be easy to take off, so I'm gonna zip it off real quick. That's nice. Yo, hey, I actually wanna show them your bumper just to give them an idea of what our custom one's gonna be oh, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go check that thing out. All right, so check this thing out. I built this thing like, what do you say, Mark, about five years ago? Yeah, it's about five years ago. It was just a, a, a grinder and a welder. Not even any cardboard. I, I wasn't even using cardboard then. This was all literally off the top of my head. And I started with the old bumper underneath it. And I started building it onto the old bumper. And as I was building this one, I was cutting away chunks of the old one underneath it. And when I was done, the only thing that was left of the old one was literally these brackets right here. And so now I can just bolt it on and bolt yeah. take it off. I remember, I remember sanding all these little crevices, man. Oh lot. yeah, it was a lot of sanding. I mean, but look how the paint has held up. Yeah, th guys, this whole thing got a lot of bondo on it because I mean, you this have thing, to. Hey, this thing looked just like the E30 uh, engine bay. Yeah, completely covered, and, and it's. I don't see a single crack. The, the only There's crack is like where he hit something, but yeah, well, you know, you know. It's that, a work that, that, truck. Was, that right there, that was a trash can. <laughs> and I may have destroyed our mailbox at one point here at Certified. Hey, but, but don't tell nobody that. Yeah, no one got to know that. Nobody knows that. But yeah, this is kind of the idea we're going to go off of. We will have the CNC machine to use, so it's going to be a breeze. Yeah, cutting you, all these you show them my, my brake coolers? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, stay tuned, guys. That's what's going to be going and, down. And if you guys want to see this truck, let us know. We might do something with this one. Yeah. She looks like she could get like... Oh, she needs love, that's for sure. She needs some love. I've been neglecting her. We could do something crazy on it, dude. I'm thinking long arms, bro. Hey, imagine if we did a four link right in the middle of the frame. Ooh. That would be beef. That would be Comment beef. down below if you guys want to see that. Yes, sir. We should do that little vent we had on yours. I like that. Yeah. I would offer to send somebody this airbox, but what I don't want for myself, I don't want for no one else. We're just gonna trash it without doing all this. So the main thing that we got to unhook is the radiator cooling lines and the inner cooling lines. And then a couple of small things like the power steering and the, I'm trying to remember what else. There's not very much things. Maybe a harness? Yeah, maybe a harness or two. If that, I think everything comes up with the cab besides the frame wiring. So Lad messed up with his little challenge. Looks like an 18 down in the hole. Oh boy. All right, so we need to get our power steering lines off. And as you can see, they're way down in there. 
right there. And that fender liner right there is just gonna be in the way, so it's gonna be easier to remove it. So Yuri's going ahead and getting it off. I hate these little, look at look at the size of those bolts, man. Like where am I even supposed to have a socket like that? And it's like a 5.5. Yeah, it's crazy. Pure insanity, man. Bro, Ford is always extra for no reason. Yeah, we thought Germans were extra. Oh, what? At least it's not. It's neither that or that. Is that a 5.5? Yeah. No, it's a 5. Yeah, it's a 5.5. Freaking Ford, man. I remember because I was working on a Focus and it had the same bolts. And I don't know where you're going to find a 5.5. Oh, I'm sure there's a... I'm sure there's a vice grip out there that'll go to 5.5. Ooh, it's going to be a lot of vising. <laughs> a lot of vising. Look at that. Almost like at the factory. Dang, good thing we bought that set. Yep. One of our smarter purchases at Harbor Freight. Much smarter than that SAE purchase. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that that was a bad surprise. All right, so we actually had the e-brake cable still attached in the clutch, so Yuri's getting that off, and then this cab should be ready to pick up. As you can see, it was getting stuck right there. That's pretty much it. She's almost ready to come off. I'm really curious to see what this motor looks like. See how dirty it is. Guys, we've got this cab up in the air. We're really happy with how it went up without any problems or issues. I did have a couple of little things that set me back, like 
the uh, the little frame around this four x four shifter, the bolts were so crudded up in there that I couldn't do anything with them. So I ended up just breaking it. And uh, also the the power takeoff cable, I just didn't want to fool with it. It was all crudded up, just cut that. And then there was a couple of things that I noticed that we need to do to it. Now that we already got the cab off, one is that oil leak right there. And, uh, but everything else looks pretty good. It's just a matter of cleaning up this frame real nice, getting all the rust off of it and painting it. So right now what we're going to do is roll it outside and Vlad's going to start pressure washing it and see how it cleans up. pressure washer isn't really as strong as we'd want it to be so me and Yuri we're gonna go ahead and go pick up a new one from John our good buddy of ours it's not exactly a new one but it runs at 6,000 psi I believe six or four I don't remember but it should get the trick done so let's go pick it up yeah I've been having to jump it <laughs> dude that thing is a beast it is that's exactly what we need. So, when you run it, make sure you kind of stretch this out and have it on this side. Okay. And you don't want it touching the muffler. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Makes sense. What's up, Michael? What are you doing? Wait, man, what's up, man? Been up in Cleveland. You know I talk about, you know how when your boy get on the grid, you know what I'm saying, everything happens. Your boy, your boy, your boy all day long, Seven days a week, ain't nobody stopping nothing. Anybody come over here? Here you go, John. You can't say that. Come on, man. Ah, right, my bad. Pay him. Pay the man. Pay the man. There you go. There you go. Look at that. All right, now there you gotta pay me too. What are you up? Hundred. Four. I won't cuss there. You don't want me cussing on screen. How about that? <laughs> All right, so we <laughs> we got the pressure washer. Huge shout out to John for that, man. We really do appreciate that. Alrighty, so we are back at the shop. What do you think about this pressure washer, Vlad? I think it's amazing. It's yeah. Blow that grease. All right, let's get it. Nathan, get, grab that hose. Uh, oh, yeah. You sure? Thank you. It's it's not it's not too light, boss. Yes, sir. No, it's not. All right, and he said uh, that has to be fully stretched out, no kinks, and it's got to be obviously away from the muffler. And then we're gonna need the booster box because. Electric start? Yeah, but it's dead. Did you turn the water on? No, I haven't. Alright. Go turn the water on, Vlad, before I crank this thing. Hey, we got it. Hold that. Go. Alright, so we had a little issue. The seal, as you can see right here, has been completely destroyed. So we're going to borrow the one off the other hose. He's a nice guy. Isn't that right, Vlad? Nathan's all right. Yeah, I don't, man, is it? He, he, he's got it, he's got it. Look, he got the water on, he's got no, the no, jumper. Turn it off, turn it off. Woo, buddy, oh, man.
All right, so we got everything cleaned up nicely. It's gonna be very nice to work with now. We're not gonna have stuff all over us. We can go ahead and start sanding down this frame right here, getting rid of all this rust and also tearing into this motor because these are very reliable motors if you bulletproof them. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tear it down. We're gonna do the head gaskets, the head studs, EGR delete, everything. Make this thing run tip top. The boys are just over here chilling on the bench seat. What's next? Uh, we got to paint the frame, but we don't know what to do. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't know if we should powder coat it, un uh, paint it, or what. What do you think, that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know as either. As far as powder coating goes, we could try some techniques if they work, like the infrared lights too big. We don't have oven that big. Yeah, we can't really put it in the oven. No, but we can I, send I did, it out, but we don't want to take everything off. We don't want to. I did hear about that. Uh, Stuff that eats rust and then turns it into primer. I mean, we've got that rust treatment right there. Like, go grab that. I mean, for light surface rust, this works really good. But, I mean, and really, if you look at this frame, that's all we have. A lot of this rust came off. If you look right there, all this was rust. It all came off when I pressure yeah, washed it. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. I mean, so, I, I think, like, if you sprayed it with some of this, it would, uh, a lot of that would go away. Let's try it out. Let's, let's spray just a little bit. I wonder if you can use it when it's wet. Let's read it, what it says. Probably not. She's gonna rust again, there's no point. Sand with coarse sandpaper. Yeah. Allow 24 hours for drying. We're gonna let this dry, and tomorrow, we'll hit it with a wire reel in certain areas, just so we can get this cab and everything back on. You know? Yeah. And then everywhere else, Cause I mean, I don't really want to go, I don't want to go all out with the, I don't want to go out like all out frame restoration. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, just get it, I mean, get the, all this rust the, off. Look at the condition of this frame. Look at this, this is all surface rust. So I'm not worried about any of it. I think this right here, maybe some of that industrial strength stuff, maybe the industrial strength stuff, like in a gallon, you know? Yeah. So we'll try that out. But that's it for this video. If you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, maybe a comment down below. Peace.